Hello and welcome back to Mathematical Marvels. Now, most people will have seen the formula that the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared at some point in their lives, but very few will ever have seen a proof. The first person who did see the proof, and indeed write it, was our old friend Archimedes. But to see how he did it, we'll first look at the areas of some simpler shapes, the regular polygons. A regular polygon is a straight-sided shape, all of whose sides are equal and all of whose angles are equal, like these ones would be if I hadn't drawn them quite so badly. Now, to find the area of such a shape, we chop it up into triangles by joining each corner of the polygon to the centre. All the triangles have the same height h, and so the area of each triangle is a half times the base times the height, so a half times b times h. And to get the area of the polygon, we add them all up. Now, we can simplify this expression by factoring out a half times h, so we get half times h times all the b's added up. Now, the sum of all the b's is just the perimeter of the polygon which I'll call Q because I've used P already to be the area. Now I've done this for a six-sided shape, but it works for a polygon with any number of sides. It just takes a bit longer to write out this bit. So what use are these polygons in attacking the circle? Well, if we have a circle, then we can draw a regular polygon around it so that it just touches the circle. And as we increase the number of sides the polygon has, it gets closer and closer to the circle. And in particular, its area gets closer and closer to the circle's area. So we have one key fact, that we can draw a regular polygon around our circle whose area is as close as we like to the circle's area. If instead we inscribe polygons within the circle, then once again we can get as close as we like to the circle's area by increasing the number of sides. Now we're ready to go after the circle's area. Archimedes does this by comparing the area of the circle to the area of a certain triangle, whose height is the circle's radius r, and whose base is the circle's circumference c. Now, by definition, pi is the ratio of the circle's circumference to its diameter, and the diameter is just twice the radius. So the circumference is twice times pi times the radius. And then the area of the triangle is a half times its base times its height, which is a half times r times 2 pi r, which is pi r squared. So what we want to show is that the area of the circle is equal to the area of the triangle. Now, there are only three possibilities that can happen. The circle is smaller than the triangle, the circle and the triangle have the same area, or the circle is bigger than the triangle. Now we're going to use a common mathematical technique called proof by contradiction. We'll assume that something is true, show that this means something impossible happens, and then the first thing we assume has to be false. So we're going to assume that the circle is smaller than the triangle, and show that something impossible happens, so this can't happen. And we're going to do the same with this possibility, and all that will be left is that the circle and the triangle have the same area, which is what we want to show. So we suppose that the circle is smaller than the triangle. Now we start drawing polygons around the outside of the circle, and as we increase the number of sides, the polygon's area gets closer and closer to the circle's area. And eventually we get a polygon whose area sits between the circle's area and the triangle's area. So A is smaller than P, which is smaller than T. Now, the height of the polygon H is the same as the circle's radius R and the polygon's perimeter q is bigger than the circle's circumference c. So the area of the polygon, which is half times h times q, is bigger than a half times r times c, which is the area of the triangle. So that the polygon is bigger than the triangle. But hold on, we said that the polygon was smaller than the triangle. This is clearly impossible, so this case can't happen. So what about the circle being bigger than the triangle? This time we inscribe polygons within the circle, and again, as we increase the number of edges, the polygon's area gets close to that of the circle, and eventually we get a polygon whose area sits between the circle's area and the triangles, so that A is now bigger than P, which is bigger than T. But now the height of the polygon H is smaller than the circle's radius R, and the perimeter of the polygon Q is smaller than the circle's circumference C, so that the area of the polygon, which is a half times H times Q, is smaller than a half times R times C, which is the area of the triangle. So now the polygon is smaller than the triangle, but the polygon is bigger than the triangle as well. So A can't be bigger than T either. So all we're left with is that A equals T, or rather that the area of the circle is pi r squared, which is what we wanted to show. Next time we'll be taking on the infinite and finding out that some infinities are bigger than others.